I couldn't believe my luck when I found myself in this predicament. There I stood, my heart pounding like a drum in my chest, dressed head to toe in my sister's clothes. It was a scene I never thought I'd find myself in, and the panic coursing through my veins was almost suffocating. Oh, big brother, so you were the one stealing my clothes, my sister accused, her arms crossed and a mischievous glint in her eyes. I stammered, desperately trying to come up with an excuse. No, I was just. I swear it's the first time I've ever done this. She raised an eyebrow, her eyes fixed on me. And where has my pink thong gone? I gulped, realizing I was trapped. I know nothing about that. Her lips curled into a sly smile, and I couldn't help but feel a little uncomfortable under her scrutiny. Wow, you look hotter than I expected, she remarked, surprising me with her compliment. Thank you, I mumbled, blushing deeply. I thought those makeup tips would be very helpful. She stepped closer, her tone softening, and I'm going to help you even more. I'm going to leave you in the city. My eyes widened with a mix of excitement and fear. No, please? This was fun, but my friends will be in the city. They might recognize me. My sister gave me a mischievous grin, clearly enjoying my dilemma. Well, that's the price you pay for borrowing my clothes without asking. Have fun in the city, little sis. As I ventured into the bustling city streets, dressed in my sister's clothes, I couldn't help but feel a whirlwind of emotions. The mix of excitement and anxiety was palpable, and I was acutely aware of the curious glances from passers-by. It was as if I had stepped into a whole new world, one that was both thrilling and daunting. The city's vibrant energy surrounded me, and I tried my best to maintain composure and confidence, despite the lingering worry that someone I knew might spot me. I had to admit, it was exhilarating to see the world from this different perspective, with new eyes and an altered identity. I passed by shops, cafes and street performers, all of them contributing to the eclectic tapestry of urban life. People from all walks of life brushed past me, their faces reflecting a myriad of emotions and stories. It was both liberating and humbling to be a part of this ever-moving mosaic, even if only temporarily. As I continued my exploration, I encountered unexpected kindness and support from strangers who didn't judge or question my attire. They treated me with respect and camaraderie, reminding me of the open-mindedness and diversity that cities often celebrated. It was a lesson in acceptance and understanding that I hadn't anticipated. However, the thrill of my adventure was not without its moments of anxiety. There were close calls with acquaintances and friends who seemed oblivious to my disguise. Each encounter sent shivers down my spine, but I managed to navigate these encounters, my heart pounding all the while. Hours passed, and as the sun began to set, I found myself at a bustling street corner, surrounded by a sea of strangers. I had experienced a day filled with the unexpected, and the city had embraced me, even in my unconventional guise. As I watched the city's nightlife come alive, I realized that sometimes, stepping outside our comfort zone could lead to unforgettable experiences and a deeper appreciation of the world around us. In the end, I couldn't help but smile as I embraced the adventure and the unique perspective it had given me. I would forever carry the memory of my day in the city, dressed in my sister's clothes, as a reminder that sometimes, life's most remarkable moments occur when we least expect them.